Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I do want to talk about and show you how to create a lookup relationships in Salesforce. And then for that I have a really great example. Let's directly jump to it. So here's the my trailhead org and here's a schema that I'm trying to work on. Right? I have this app called Hollywood and it consists of a couple tabs. I have a tab called actors that I have like just regular actors. The movies they're part of, they can be part of. We have a platform, promoters and studios, right? So right now I will be showing you the schemas and relationship on a high level on the back end. And that's what I have right now. We can see that currently actor has a relationship with the studio as a master detail relationship and then we also have a platform has a relationship with the movie um, as a lookup and how do you determine it based on the color right so let's say if I highlight the blue one it does tell me it's a lookup relationship if I highlight the red one it tells me that it's a master detail relationship so now I do want to create a relationship between a promoter and an actor okay and I want to make sure the actor will be the child of the promoter which the promoter will be the parent and they will have a lookup relationship so and then we all know we highlight it like this, right? So as you can see, the child will be also always being pointed. Cool. I, ho I hope the requirement is pretty clear and I think we have a cool app. Let's actually try to go and build it out. Okay. So we always create, uh, when we want to associate and then create a relationship between two objects, we create this under like a child. So we have to go to the child, to the actor. So let's go to the back end. Look for an actor. Click there. And then, so for fields and relationship, we will go and create a new field, which in this case will be a lookup. Okay. Let's click next here's the the parent that you want to associate the account to so that will be what do we have uh, promoter right let's look for a promoter promoter click next field name automatically is populated you can make this required that's what we can do so it's automatically will show up on the page layout I think that's what is important let's click that let's click next let's click next next and save so if I go to the schema builder and refresh my page I should see there's a relationship from the promoter to the actor that we created with the blue bot uh, color, right? Cool. So we just already did this, but let's test it out. I'm going back to the my platform, the my application, and in here, I will go to promoter. I'll create a new promoter name. Uh, Jason Bay. Save that. Let's click on related and you can see we can create an actor. Melissa John Salary random number so if you click 
on promoters and you click on the one which you just created Jason Bay under related you can see there is a, a, a actor right we can create more actor or associate and bring more um, to this to this promoter let's actually go to actors and see okay related details cool I guess that's how that's how you actually create so now we know that the promoter has a relationship to uh, a child to the actor and they're connected through the lookup relationship so hopefully this is a, a clear explanation and let me know if you have any any questions or concern or if you have any challenges but make sure when you do this exercise you create relationship and then create the field on the child record okay like the video uh, and some uh, like, like the video and then subscribe uh, I, I would like to request your feedback what you would like to see in the next videos thanks